Good morning. Our mass intention for today is for Raymond Heap. And our entrance antiphon, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on the earth. For the Lord became obedient to death, death on a cross. Therefore, Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I will begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. All right, we come before our Lord to pray to celebrate these sacred mysteries. We look into our hearts, acknowledging our sins, asking God for pardon and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Eleison. Let us pray. O God, who would your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear. And I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, Lord in your in great, great love, love answer, answer me. me. For your sake, I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, Lord in your in great, your great love, love, answer, answer me. me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, Lord in, your in your great, great love, love answer, answer me. me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and in his own, who are in bonds, he spurns not. 
Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, love answer, answer me. me. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our arrows. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give to me? Willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid, thir they paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, you look at this situation with Judas, it's, it's, it's a very mysterious um, in that God has got this ability to see exactly what we're going to choose. Um, we talk about how God, the nature of our Lord, he, his mind is eternal. The mind of God is eternal, meaning the past, the present, and the future are all there at once for God. At the same time, God is also all-loving, which means that you and I have the freedom to choose. And it's, if you look at what Jesus says here, what does he say? He says, the man who, he who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. So he who has done this is the one who will, okay? So it's a matter of, it, it's, it, he's, he's giving this freedom of choice. Judas had every opportunity to not do this. And to the point that he's saying, surely it's not I. And, but at the same time, Judas is looking for an opportunity. He still had the opportunity to not do this, but he made this decision anyway. I mean, Judas' mind was just getting more and more corrupt. They said he was stealing from the temple, from the, from the, not the temple treasury, from their treasury, what they had collected. His, his mind and heart were already shot his conscience was already so skewed he was heading down this terrible awful path but he had the freedom to make a choice meaning it was not quote fate we talk about fate this 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 idea that somehow we are all fated into something that we're all stuck that your destiny is either up or down all that is completely mysterious um, but at the same time very clear because we have every opportunity to make a choice, a decision to choose for Jesus. And Judas, even at this point, had this opportunity to choose a way, but Jesus happened to know exactly what he was going to choose. Am I making sense what I'm saying? See, it's like we have freedom of choice, but God knows exactly what you want to do. So what do we pray for? We pray for 
more than anything else is not to do the right thing, which is a good intention, but our intention should be, help me to love you, Lord, to make for you. The choice is always made out of love for you, out of love for your face and those around me, out of love from the dignity of who I am as a person. Help me to make those choices for you, grounded in you, realizing that all these choices for life, death, good, evil, are really all about choosing for you. Judas chose a way, and it's unfortunate. At the same time, what are we going to do with our freedom of choice? I saw this thing, this thing on the internet recently that said a man who said he was like, he said he was in his 50s. And he said, at 80 years old, you know, I would give a million dollars to go back 30 years to recapture time, you know. And he says, here I am right now, and I'm a rich man. You look at it, if you're 80 years old right now, a 100-year-old person would go, I'd give a million dollars to go back 20 years. Think about that. And the person who's 120 <laughs> would do the same. So seeing the richness of, who, of, of what you have right now in this day, your freedom of choice, make great choices. We tell that to the kids. Make good choices today. Do the same, but choose for Jesus. Let us stand now, presenting our petitions before the Lord. Our response is, Lord, hear us and have mercy. For all members of the church, may the Lord help us die to ourselves and to seek first the good of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear us, us and, and have, have mercy. mercy. For peace in our world, may Christ's victory over sin and death transform and heal our broken world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord, us and, and have, have mercy. For all who are sick, may Christ who knew pain and suffering in his own life, fill them with healing and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear us, us and have, have mercy. For all who are preparing to be received in the church this Easter vigil, May they be filled with joy and the knowledge of God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear us, us and, and have mercy. For all who have died, may they come to share in the fullness of Christ's glorious resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear us, us and have mercy. For all those listed on our parish prayer line and in our prayer intention book in the back of our church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us and have mercy. For all of those special intentions that we hold deep within our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear us and have mercy. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the greatness of your love for us. Bless all of our intentions in your time and bless them in your way. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that would come for us, the bread of life. For the mystery of the mingling of this water and wine, the teaching of Christ within you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Oh Lord, 
wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here and graciously grant that, celebrating your Son's passion and mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. 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 Agnus Dei, qui tonis peccata mundi. Miserere nobis. Let us mingle with the body and blood of the Lord. Behold, <clears throat> the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion antiphon. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many.
as you go to the sick and the homebound, take with you not only the sacrament we have celebrated, but also the word of God, which we have heard, as well as the affection of this parish community. Ask for the prayers of those whom you visit and return, and go now with God's peace and blessing, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. On your way out, if you look across the street, um, you'll see that there is a pile of, a pile of pilings. Um, meaning that we are starting official construction and pile driving, you know, on, I believe on Monday or Tuesday of next week. So it's a super exciting time to think that Holy Family Hall is indeed going to, um, to, to come up, um, you know, if, if soon. So we're very, very blessed. And I thank God again for everyone's patience and prayers um, in the construction of this, this hall that's going to serve a lot for ministry. So thank you again for that. Everyone, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And everyone have a blessed day today. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, 
Ave, Ave, Maria. 